Hi everyone, it's Miss Debbie. I just wondered how your week was. Did you have a good Easter week, all you Easter people? I wonder sometimes too if you wonder. Do you wonder about anything? I know my friends at home. Do you wonder about anything? Yeah, I know. I know. He's he's wondering when I'm gonna get new batteries for him because he does a great little dance, but right now he can't do it. So he's wondering when I'm gonna get batteries. I'll, I'll work on that this week, I promise. Okay, we're gonna tell a story today about wondering and sometimes the wondering that turns into worrying. If you will remember, last week we had a story about Jesus on the cross and when he died, they put him in a tomb. And on Sunday morning, the women who loved Jesus came back to finish the burial process at the tomb. But what they found was an empty tomb and they didn't know what happened. They wondered about what happened. And suddenly, Mary heard a voice and all he said was Mary and she knew at once that it was Jesus. Can you tell why it's Jesus? Right. So he said, please go back and tell the others that I'll see them soon. And she hurried off with the other women to tell the great, great news that Jesus was alive. Let's pick up our story. As soon as the women found Jesus and realized he was alive, they ran back to the others to tell them the good news. I have seen the Lord. We 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 have seen the Lord. And all the disciples jumped up and down with excitement because they were so thrilled to hear that news. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the disciples were together with the doors locked for fear of the Jewish leaders, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and sighed. The disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. Again, Jesus said, Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. And with that, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone's sins, their sins are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. Now Thomas, one of the twelve, was not with the disciples when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, yeah, Unless I see the nail marks in his hands, and put my finger where the nails were, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. A week later, his disciples were in the house again, and Thomas was with them. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Put your fingers here. See my hands. Reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. Thomas said to him, My Lord and my God. Then Jesus told him, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. What a miraculous story. Those disciples went through so many amazing things that week after Easter, those few weeks after Easter, to go from watching their teacher and their leader and their beloved friend die to having him return to them and the miracle to know that he is God's son what an experience for them so Jesus did lots more miracles he visited them a lot more times before he went back to heaven and John wrote some of these things down so that we could not worry and doubt and wonder so that we could believe so how about if we say a prayer about that for all of the wonderings that you might have. Does everybody have your hands full? Okay, bow your hands. Okay. Dear God, thank you.
for the miracles of Jesus, for the miracles that he performed for others so that we might believe. We know now that he is the Messiah, he is the Son of God, and that by believing in him, we have life in his name. Please help us turn our doubts and our worries, especially during these weeks, into trust and faith. All of this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Good job. All right, everyone. Have a great week. Don't worry, but keep wondering. Bye.